can't argue with you, Fox. She's a doll. So what if she's a little quirky? Quirky's good. The last thing you want is some girl's main aim in life is to fit in. Siren dances to her own tune, man. I kind of like the sound of her tune, if you know what I mean. Exactly. She's gorgeous, right? It's not only that. Even though she's outspoken and spontaneous, there's this innocence about her that's so rare. Then don't let what anyone thinks or says stop you, man. Go for it. Tell me you didn't just ask what I think you did. I just want to know how you did it. How did you talk Miguel into making a baby with you? That's none of your business. And who said I talked him into anything? I didn't mean... I mean, I, I just got the impression it wasn't something the two of you planned. Well, no. It's not like I tricked him or anything. There, there were deep feelings involved. We got carried away, okay? <laughs> okay. So how do I do that with Miguel? You don't. That's how you keep your hands off him. Why? Are you in love with him too? Everyone in this place has the same symbol spike tattooed on them. How weird is that? It's too weird for me, especially since it's the same symbol that's in every single one of the missing paintings Paloma and I are trying to find. Are you sure Spike never said what that symbol meant? No. I thought he designed it himself. Well, we're here now, and the guys who brought us seem to have disappeared, so I guess I'll have to take matters into my own hands. What are you gonna do? Ask someone else about the symbol. Hey, you can't, can't do that! You okay? Sorry, I couldn't see where I was jumping. Oh, God, as long as you're not hurt, all right? Oh. It's fancy. You shouldn't have come down here. I wasn't going to let you risk your life down here by yourself. You heard what Gianni said. It's dangerous down here. Which is... People have come down into the catacombs and never been seen again. Look, I want you to go back up to the street, okay? Forget it. I'm not leaving you. Aren't you still angry at me? Said there's help on the way, right? Si, carissima. But you are the one who needs help more than that poor soul. No, no, you don't understand. This is the man I love. This is the father of my child. I, I can't just let him die like mm -hmm. this. You must be careful. Evil is very near, and I'm afraid it's coming for you. Do you hear me, Whitney? Leave him there and exit the catacombs now. I have to help Chad. I can't let him die. You must let him perish. That is my will. No, I won't do it. And you will be severely punished. Your self-flagellation back at the convent will be nothing compared to the pain that I have in store for you. Be careful, Caristi, but you are in grave danger. Sister, listen, I appreciate your concern, but it's not me who needs help right now. Chad and that other man over there could die if I don't get him out of here. Now, I just pray it's not too late. Let him die. I can't do that. I love him. That is precisely the reason why he must never come out of the catacombs alive. As long as your half-brother lives, you will be lured by temptation and mortal sin. Leave him now and come back to me so that you can continue with the mission that I have set before you. Unless, of course, your sinful desire. 
desires are more important than the countless souls that I have asked you to help me save. Souls who are worthy of being saved, unlike chance. Is anyone here? Same thing. Listen, someone's coming. Oh, maybe they can help me with the other person. in a cave in. Is anyone here? Yes. Yes, I'm here, but, but help me with the other person over there. He's near you guys. Near us. Oh, I see him. Meddling fools. Maybe those people can help me with Chad, too. Look, sister, can you... Where did she go? here. Oh no. She's really going to talk to those people. Um, sorry to cut in, but I need to ask your data question. Okay, um, my friends and I were wondering about that symbol that you have on your chest. We were thinking about getting tattoos in the same design. And Great if things between you and Siren work out. She seems nice. I think she is. It's gonna be fun getting an hour better. Okay, the Siren. <laughs> There's a big difference between being in love with someone and loving them. There is. Are you sure you're from New Hampshire and not some other planet? <laughs> well, that's not nice. Okay, fine. The reason that I care about Miguel isn't because I'm in love with him, but I do love him as a friend. And when we go way back, he means a lot to me. Like a brother. Well... So if you're not in love with him, why can't I have a baby with him? Because you can't, that's why. It's just not the way you do things. But you did. And so did Tabitha, and she's really old. Uh, how am I gonna get through to you? And I love Maria and Dora. They're so cute and sweet, I want one of my own. Okay. If you wanted a baby so bad, then why didn't you have one with your boyfriend? Boyfriend? Yeah, the guy you say left you last night, stole all your clothes, that boyfriend? Right, uh, well, he wasn't ready to have a baby. Oh, neither is Miguel, okay? He already has enough on his plate helping me with Maria. He doesn't need another child. That's what Miguel said. But I think I can change his mind. You told Miguel that you wanted to have his baby? Yes. I don't believe you. Uh-huh. <laughs> Ready to go swimming? Always. <laughs> No, 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 he has a pulse. It, it's weak and thready, but it's there. Look, we have to hurry, all right? Uh, clear out his airways. <sighs> oh, it can't be. I don't believe it. Oh, my God. It's Luis. My Aunt Sheridan's Luis. What in the hell is he doing here? I don't care what the monk says. I'm not gonna let you die.
<laughs> An indoor pool. Wow, those pelicans must be rich. Pelicans? The family you said own the estate. That's the cranes, not the pelicans. <laughs> They must be nice if they like swimming enough to have an indoor pool. I'm not sure I really follow your logic. But then again, I don't think it really matters. Last one in is a rotten tomato. <laughs> I think you mean egg. Miguel, I need to talk to you. Now? Yes, before this thing with you and Siren goes any further. What's going on here, Kay? Look, I just, I think you need to be careful, okay? She, she's not cooking on all her burners. Come on, just because she's a little different? Different? She's crazy, she's kooky. She asked you to make her pregnant? And I told her it was, it was out of the question that neither one of us was ready for that kind of talk. And, and that's all there is to it? You act like she didn't just proposition you in the most outrageous, bold-faced way? She has a dry sense of humor. Why are you taking it so seriously? Because she wasn't joking. She told me the same thing as if it were the most normal, natural idea in the world. Look, no offense, Kay. I appreciate you watching my back, but what Siren and I do is our business. Just promise me that if you sleep with her, you will use protection. <sighs> we're not that far along yet. Well, you will be if she keeps going the way she's going. A girl like that, I, I would not put it past her if she tried to trick you into getting her pregnant. I don't see Sarvan as a scheming type. She's too innocent, too naive. Though you might know a little bit about tricks, wouldn't you? Look, I didn't trick you into sleeping with me, okay? I don't know why you thought that I was charity that night. It's just one of those voodoo nights in harmony. Things didn't make sense, okay? Besides, that's ancient history. Look, I wasn't accusing you of anything. My point is, Siren is extremely naive, and she may say things that sound really forward, but she doesn't mean them that way. Mm, I think she does. Look, I'll be careful, okay? Just for the record, why do you care so much? Why wouldn't I care? We've been friends for a long time. I saw you get hurt by charity, and I just... Don't want it to happen again. It already did, with you. But you're in love with Fox, engaged to marry the guy. Don't take this the wrong way, Kay, but you made a choice. So as far as my love life's concerned, how about you just butt out? I'm sorry I didn't mean to butt into your business. I, I'm just trying to keep you from making a mistake with Siren. I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's okay, it's just that you two barely know each other and she's trying to have a baby with you? Isn't that a red flag? I mean, it could be. Or maybe she's just lonely, hurt by this guy she was going out with, you know? Maybe she just wants to find somebody that treats her better. You. Why not me? Because she's crazy, that's why. Don't you think that's a little harsh? I mean, just because she's a little different? Miguel, come on. I'm serious. I like that she's dancing to her own tune. Charity wasn't like other girls either. Oh, so what, what are you saying? That's your type, odd girls? Maybe so. So Siren's a fish out of water. What's wrong with that? <sighs> well, Siren, I gotta admit, you know, I was known as quite a swimmer back in school, but you swim circles around me. Circles? I can do that. heard of the expression when in Rome, but this is ridiculous and creepy. And if anyone knows creepy when she sees it, it's me. I won't argue with you there.
let me let Chad die. Do you hear me? Now come back here so you can complete the mission for the church. And do not disobey me. I was so afraid I was too late. I thought you were dead down there. Whitney? Is that you, Whitney? Um, no. No, it's not. Whitney. He looks so different. It's you. I can tell by your voice. He's coming around. Okay, all right. Help me get him up. Come on. Louise? Louise? Open your eyes. Wake up. What? what? It's you. Yes, Louise. It's. Oh my gosh, you came for me. Sheridan. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm her niece, Fancy. Fancy. Oh, I am so sorry. It's okay. I, it's okay. I don't it's even okay. know what I was thinking. It's okay. All right. It's all right. It, it I could have sworn. It was I, probably just my blonde hair. Yeah. yeah. Look, you were out cold. Okay, you just came too. Oh. Man, you helped save me too. Yeah. Well, look, but you don't need to kiss me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Are you Are you okay? Uh. Not really, but. I don't think anything's broken. Okay. What are you two doing in Rome, anyway? Um, what? <laughs> look, it's, it's a long story, all right? We'll talk about it later. It just, look, we're just lucky we got you out of this rubble fast. Yeah. Man, the whole ceiling collapsed on us. Yeah, we could see your hands sticking up from the debris. It was horrible. <sighs> well, thanks for digging me out. You guys saved my life. Did you see the nun? <laughs> uh, n no, unless she was that woman who was here before. No, 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 because she was in another corridor and uh, the walls, they were bleeding. Whoa, OK, OK, look, you got to relax, man. Are you sure you're not just dreaming this, imagining it? Because you were. No, we saw it. Wait, you, you keep saying we. Was someone else with you? Yeah, I was here with Chad Harris. Have you seen him? Chad's my half-brother. What if he didn't get out? We've got to find him. Whitney, what are you doing down here? I'm so worried about you. Why do you look so different? Look, never mind that, Chad. What are you doing here? I came to find you. Bring you home. Whitney, what are you doing in Rome anyway? I mean, no one at the convent had any answers, and... It's like you just disappeared into thin air. Get out of there now, Whitney. Let the others save him. It'll only lead you into further temptation. Leave him now. Do you hear me? I, uh, I can't be here. Um, look, I, I, I have to go, okay? Oh, oh, and now? Can... Whitney, I just found you. What's going on here? Tell me what's wrong. I can't. I'm sorry. I have to go, please. No, I'm not going to let you go until you tell me what's going on. Something's wrong, Whitney. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, there are people here that are going to take care of you, okay? They're going to get you to the doctor, and you'll be fine, okay? Whitney, will you dig me out just to abandon me? Come on, Whitney. This isn't like you. Now, Whitney, do as I say. <sighs> Chad, just please don't hit me and tell Miles I love him. Oh, but Whitney! Whitney! Yeah. Hey, hey, Boomer! Are you all right? 
right? I thought he was gonna hurt you. Oh, yeah, I thought so too at first. But all I did was ask him about his tattoo and then he grabbed me. Yeah, but he looked so angry. I know, I know, and he doesn't seem to speak English. I think he didn't understand what I said. Okay, well, whatever, let's get out of here. No, no, we came looking for answers and I hate living without knowing anything more. Well, I vote we get out of here while we still can, answers or not. Are you guys coming? Wait a sec. <clears throat> Hi. Um, um, uh, you didn't answer my question. That symbol on your chest, what does it mean? Anticapisco. Uh, okay, I'll try it in Spanish. Tu tatuaje, que significa? Guarda, mi dispiace, io non so di che cosa sta parlando. Minuto. Sì, sì. Okay. The symbol on your chest, though. Everybody here in the club is wearing it. It must mean something. Forget it, American girl. He doesn't understand. Okay? Well, then I'll ask someone else. You promised to give us some answers. Are you stupid or what? Nobody here understands your question. Zita. I am the hunter. I am prey. Okay, so you're into offbeat women. It doesn't mean you shouldn't be careful with Siren. I'm a big boy, Kay. I can take care of myself. But look. Listen. Okay, just listen. You know how I feel about you. And when I came back to Harmony and started getting to know you again, I fell hard, Kay. I fell real hard. I was hoping maybe something could happen between us. I know. But you and Fox have made it real clear that you're looking towards a future together. I came back too late. It's nobody's fault. It's just the way it is. But believe me when I tell you, I do want you to be happy, even if it's with someone else. Fox is a great guy, and I couldn't ask for a better stepdad to Maria either. I know you, you couldn't. I respect your relationship with Fox, so I'm asking you to respect mine with Siren. Well, the way you talk, it's like you're already involved. I know, and I don't want to rush things. But I like her, Kay. I like her a lot. And she likes me, too. That's an understatement. Whatever. I'm asking you to stay out of it, okay? Let me live my life, even if it means making a mistake. You know, maybe Siren isn't the right woman for me, but then again, maybe she is. But it's our business, not yours. Understand? I guess I, I don't want to tell you what to do. Then stop with all the bad mouthing about Siren. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Aren't you getting dizzy yet? <laughs> Not a bit. <laughs> okay, well, I am, so stop. <laughs> What's the matter? I've never had before in my tummy. Are you and Kay close friends? <laughs> More than friends, we're in love. We're getting married. And you're not jealous of her when she's with Miguel? Oh, not anymore, I admit. I've had a few visits from the green-eyed monster, but... It's... Who's he? It's just an expression. The point is, is I've had to check myself and my jealousy over the relationship. Miguel's not a threat to me and Kay. She told you that? Yeah, and I believe her. And I'm sure they're close, but it's because they have a child together. They have lots of history. They grew up together. Hmm. You don't believe that they're just friends? I don't know. I just wonder whether close friends with a child and a lot of history can sometimes become more than friends. Yeah, sure, it happens, but... Not with those two. <laughs> you know, you really are different from other girls, Siren. <laughs> Is that good or bad? I think it's a good thing. It's refreshing. All I know is that I say what I think. <laughs> yeah, so I've noticed. You really like Miguel, don't you? Yes. I want him to be the father of my child, too. Right. So, uh, you want to race across the pool? You're on. All right. On three. Ready? One, two, three.
What the hell? No, it couldn't have been. I won. Why'd you stop? Okay, call me crazy, but I could have sworn I just saw Finn where your legs were supposed to be just now when we were racing. What? Too much chlorine in your eyes, buddy. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I've completely lost it. Not only do you have legs, but you have gorgeous ones. Thank you. Not as beautiful as Kay's legs. My eyes are definitely playing tricks on me. Too bad. The boys wanted to meet a mermaid. <sighs> Are you ready for another race? <laughs> you coming in, Kay? Mm, not right now. Well, then I'm getting out. Miguel, good luck. My money is on the wrong way. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Look like you just lost your best friend or something. I tried to warn Miguel about Siren, but he won't listen to me. She's a little off. Did you hear that she wants to have a baby with him? Yeah, that's gotta be a joke. No, it's not funny. I tried to tell him that she's gonna cause him nothing but grief, but he won't listen. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Looks like they found better things to do than race laps. here can speak English or Spanish. It's true. Then why did you bring us here? You promised to give us some answers about the mysterious symbol in the stolen painting. And you will get them. When? All in good time. Are you wasting our time? We only came here with you because you promised to help us track down those paintings. If this is some kind of game... We promise to give you all the answers, and we will. But we do not respond well to pressure. Mm. You're just gonna have to trust us. Huh. I've heard that one before. How are we supposed to trust you when this place is so off the wall? No, the real question is how are we supposed to trust you? You are gonna have to prove yourself to us first. How? By doing exactly what we say. Hey. Whitney! Don't run off! Come back! Oh, thank Jack. God you're all right. Jack. Why are you calling for Whitney? Well, she's the one who dug me out. And then she ran off. Oh, that, that's who we saw earlier, but we just didn't recognize her. Oh, she looks different than she did back at home. She's unrecognizable. I didn't know she was myself until, until I heard her voice. Whitney! Well, Chad, at least you're alive, huh? Yeah, you too. Yeah. Noah, Fancy, what, what are you two doing here? Uh, uh it's a long story. We'll, we'll tell you later. This is too weird. It's like half of Harmony showing up in Rome at the same time. You know, I knew Whitney was going to be here, so that's why I came to Rome. Only I don't know what she got into and why she ran off after she saved me. I'm scared to death for her. Physically, you mean? Physically and everything else. I got a bad feeling about all of this. It is about time you decided to obey me. I couldn't leave Chad to die buried under all that rubble, Lord. Nothing and no one must come before your mission. It's just that Chad came to Rome to look for me. He heard my screams, jumped in the catacomb to save my life. He risked his life to save mine. That is exactly the problem, isn't it? Did you not agree to follow my orders so you could rid yourself of your sinful feelings for your half-brother? Yes, and I am. I've done everything you've asked me to do. You either want to atone for your grievous sin of incest, or you don't. But I couldn't just leave Chad there to die. And you know, a real man of God wouldn't want an innocent man to die either. 
The father of your bastard child is far from innocent. He would lead you into temptation at any turn. He's no better than Lucifer himself. That is not true. Chad is a good and decent man. I have misjudged you, Whitney. I thought you had learned your lesson. But I was a fool. I was a fool for having chosen you from all the people in the world to help me in this important mission. A mission which is vital to the survival of my church and indeed to the redemption of your immortal soul. You didn't choose the wrong person. I want to help you. I want to atone for my sins. Then you must prove it. I will. I will. Anything you ask. I have already asked Whitney. This man who would cause you to commit such a heinous sin. He must die. It is the only way. looking at them like they're criminals. I don't trust her, Fox. You and Miguel don't understand you're men. Meaning we're thick. When it comes to women, yes. <laughs> He's attracted to her. There's no crime in that. I know what I'm looking at, OK? She's trouble. Look, you're sweet to worry so much about Miguel, but I'm sure he can fend for himself. Besides, I mean, Siren could turn out to be the best thing for Miguel. I mean, I think it's healthy that he's getting over charity. I mean, that was a no-win situation for him. I mean, who knows? Maybe he'll fall in love with Siren. She'll reciprocate his feelings. He'll be happy. Mm, she won't make him happy. Okay, that's not up to us. But we've got enough things to worry about without worrying about Miguel and Siren. We do? Like planning our wedding? How are the arrangements coming anyways? They're great, they're great. I just have a little bit more to do, but everything will be done in time, I promise. Well, I hope so. It's only the most important day of our lives. Hey, I don't care what these guys say. I want to get out of here. Me too. Everyone in here is creeping me out. You want to live without learning anything about the symbol? Uh -huh. Yes. This is the right place to get answers. Everybody's wearing it in one way or another. I know. I still can't get over it being the same design as the tattoo Spike made me get. Not to mention appearing in every single one of the missing church paintings. And how could it be that nobody here speaks even a little English? Maybe those guys are giving us some kind of run around. Yeah, which is why I want to get out of here while we still can. She's right, Roma. There's something definitely off about this place. Well, this is coincidence enough that Fancy and I ended up in Rome at the same time, but you guys too, and, and Whitney? It's really bizarre. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm here looking for my son. I've got reason to believe that Beth is hiding him here in Rome. This Beth person, it's so strange to think she's my grandfather's illegitimate daughter. Yeah. I guess that makes her my aunt? And Sheridan's half-sister. She's sick, I'm telling you guys, she is sick and she is vicious. I'm gonna find her, I'm gonna find my son, and I'm finally gonna bring him back to Sheridan. Well, look, I'm not sticking around here, I gotta find Whitney. Oh, we another cave in. We gotta get the hell out of here. But Whitney went this way. You better get to her alive than dead. Come on, you're too far later. Let's go, go. Don't 
don't look so shocked. Surely you must realize that you can't hold on to this sordid fantasy for Chad. The best thing for everyone is his demise. But he's the father of my child, Lord, please. Your child will be well cared for by your mother. Admit it, Whitney. You and Chad cannot exist together on this planet at the same time without feeling drawn toward one another. Well, yes. And you, uh you will be led forever into temptation and damnable sin. The decision is yours. If you choose to offend the church and spit on God's commandments... No, no, that is not what I want. If you choose this path, you will forfeit his forgiveness and his love, and your soul will burn in eternal hell. On the other hand, you can atone for your sins by doing God's will. That's what I want. That's, that's what I've always wanted. Please. Then stop fighting it, Whitney. Accept that you and Chad cannot both go on living. Uh, I understand. Now I understand. That's better. I see that you now know what must be done. But it's not Chad who must die. It has to be me. It's your sister Paloma. She's in danger. Sister Whitney, you will die. The key to winning Sheridan back is finding Marty. I'm going to do it. I swear it I am.